So the first time I would have seen Archie's frogs would have been when I was working with Doc. You go out at night, it's dark, it's generally raining. You usually have to walk in for a long way until you find one you're worried that you're not going to be able to see them because they're so small and so well camouflaged so there's always a period at the start when you're like oh my gosh am i missing lots of frogs and there's other people around you finding them and then when you find your first one you're like oh phew i'm not blind i can spot them when you first find them and that happens every time you go out I think um, and other people that I've worked with have told me that same thing. So the ideal conditions to find them um, is when it's warm and wet and dark that seems to be when they come out um, from their refuge um, spaces so generally it's from October through until about May. The best kind of environment for them to live in is somewhere moist and damp so that their skin doesn't dry out. Like deep leaf litter and within kiki plants, sort of like grassy um, plants that have little spots where they can hunker down into. Um, and also in tree ferns, the tops of tree ferns, dead tree ferns, we often find them in those. Well, the smallest ones we find as, ju as juveniles are about 10 millimetres up to a maximum of just under 40 millimetres. So the little ones can be um, about the size of your pinky nail. The bigger ones, four centimetres, so slightly bigger than a thumbnail. So when we are surveying for Archie's frogs, they don't really do anything much if they're emerged. Um, so they'll come out of what's called their refuge. So it's usually like leaf litter or within a plant. They emerge and then they are what's called sit and wait predators. So they literally just sit and wait for food to come past their face. They eat um, small little invertebrates, flying, flying insects, things like that. So when we when we find them, they're just sitting still, and um, once you've found them, they don't generally they don't move away. They don't try and escape or anything. Um, their sort of best defence is their camouflage, and so they just sit still. The smaller ones we have found on the ground a lot more. They seem to be a lot more active, and we think that they might be moving away from their parents. The froglets, they're called. Um, they're hatched by the father. Fr the, the, the father frog sits on the eggs, and then they are hatched as little mini frogs, they don't have a tadpole stage like um, most frogs do and then eventually they sort of start to move away from where their dad has been living so I think that's uh, why we see so many small ones moving around more than we do the big ones.